One of the worst parts about college admissions is that there are more and more universities requiring essays, and the topics, they never seem to end. Essay requirements are expanding to universities who never used to require them. For example, some less selective universities that admit more than 75% of their applicants, like Oklahoma, Kentucky, and Auburn, they require essays. And I get it, look, Stanford or Michigan, they probably do need essays to evaluate students beyond their academics. But when some non-selective universities like Wyoming or Loyola in New Orleans, who admit 95% of their applicants, when they also require essays, that shows that our system is absolute madness. Essay requirements deter students from applying, especially those from low-income communities and first-generation families. I follow admissions counselors' Facebook groups, and they always celebrate when a university goes test optional. Yet, I've never seen a post applauding removing an essay requirement. It's insane that more and more universities require essays when they could probably admit almost every student based solely on their academics. Holistic Review and their essay requirements are like a computer virus infecting the admissions processes of colleges everywhere. Look, it is true that a generation ago, most universities only looked at your academics, but that isn't true today. Unless a student enrolls at a community college, it is almost certain that they will need to submit at least one essay. Parents often say to me, I don't ever remember me or anyone I knew having to write a single college essay, let alone three dozen. And those parents are right. It isn't just the number of universities who require essays, but the amount of essays for each university. I want to introduce a new unit of measurement for how much universities require, a Princeton. Princeton requires around 1,000 words worth of supplements beyond the common application essay. A university receives a Princeton for every 1,000 words worth of supplements that they require. Programs that are less selective than Princeton, yet have more demanding requirements, signal a dysfunction in the program's requirements. The winner for the highest Princeton quotient I've ever seen is Penn State Schreyer's Honors, along with their combined MBA with Bachelors of Science program. In total for these two, there's 20 essays amounting to over 7,500 words or 7.5 Princetons. UT Dallas's former McDermott Scholars Program Full Ride Scholarship required 10 essays for around 5,000 words, or five Princetons in total. It's often even hard to know the Princeton quotient up front because universities are terrible about publishing their requirements. Students often learn about the requirements only after accessing the common application or even after submission for things like honors programs and scholarships that usually and often have hidden requirements. Even for universities that don't have requirements for essays for regular admission, like the University of Kansas, applying to Kansas's honors program requires nearly 2,000 words worth of essays, or two Princetons. The University of Southern California is one of the worst offenders of the Princeton quotient. In addition to a silly set of list questions required of all applicants, which I'll discuss in a future video, most majors have additional requirements. USC is terrible about publishing in advance. Which programs require what essays? Many USC applicants are surprised to see the requirements double or even triple depending on their first and second choice programs. For example, USC's Marshall's World Bachelors in Business requires a video introduction and four additional essays, whose requirements you only learn after making the common application, because the topics aren't listed anywhere on their website. One question for USC's Dornsife School gives students the very challenging task of writing in 250 words about a hypothetical 10-minute speech, as if they had the attention of a million people, disregarding that a 10-minute speech amounts to 2,000 words or more. Plus, why can't they just ask, what would your TED Talk be? Applicants to computer science and engineering must submit two additional applications, while applications for USC's Iovine and Andre Young Academy must write a different essay and film a one-minute video. So if you're an applicant to both Dornsife and the Iovine Academy as your second and first choice majors, you need to submit all of the above materials, which amount to about three Princetons, or 3,000 words in total. An explosion of essay topics is unique to undergraduate American universities. No other countries in the world have such a dysfunctional system. And for applicants of American law, medical, or graduate schools, 
usually only have to write one or maybe two at most three essays for all of the universities that they apply. The Princeton measurement offers a convenient shorthand to determine how much work all of your colleges require. If you're trying to decide which universities to trim from your list, consider starting with the ones that require the most essays and have the highest Princeton quotients. Consider adding on your College Expel spreadsheet a cell for the Princeton quotient. The simplest explanation for why universities are adopting essay requirements and increasing the number of essays required is simply because they're doing what everybody else is doing. The limbing effect describes a popular myth about a type of rodent that lives in packs. And when one limbing jumps off the cliff, the others follow to their death. Less selective universities follow their elite neighbors over the essay requirement cliff when it's totally unnecessary to adequately admit enough of their applicants. These less selective universities wanna give the impression of prestige and inclusion, but it falls short. Oklahoma University and Auburn aren't fooling anyone into thinking they're elite by claiming that they review their applicants holistically. Additional essay requirements privilege wealthy students who are savvier about the admissions process and are more likely to begin their applications early. Essay requirements punish students who don't receive coaching who don't attend resource-rich high schools, and especially from the students whose parents aren't college educated. A good rule of thumb for whether a program is sincere about diversity and inclusion is if their Princeton quotient is low or even non-existent. Families and high school educators should call out less selective universities who have demanding essay requirements. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find my email in the information section of this video, so feel free to reach out if you're interested in working together.